roaring game is rocking the soggy shores, and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tangard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21, and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Elgin Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the uh, Plex here in Port Elgin. Um, happy to be uh, broadcasting with uh, my broadcast partner, uh, replacement uh, for Jerry Sunwall, and I jumped in, uh, Joey Rettinger. Welcome to uh, tonight's uh, semifinal action on Sheet C for the men and a tiebreaker on Sheet A for the women. So both those games are being broadcast. Uh, we have Sheet C, Joey, you and I. It's uh, Team Epping versus Team McEwen. Uh, Team McEwen uh, won the round robin game, so they had uh, color and uh, hammer in this game. So, winner of this will advance uh, to meet uh, Team Glenn Howard uh, tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock. Yeah, happy Saturday. We're underway. Another full, full barn here tonight, and uh, it doesn't get any better than this. We've got two great teams, and one's going to the final, and one's going home, and that'll yeah. be. Uh, we got started a little early tonight. Uh, the uh, practice is a little different when you know how to draw the buttons to take a little less time. We'll, so we'll get you up to date if you come in a little late. Hopefully uh, don't miss too many people, but uh, we're off to the races here. We can uh, maybe introduce the teams uh, during the fifth end break or something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, these two teams are familiar to all avid curlers out there. Uh, this is a uh, lead for Team John Epping. This is uh, Scott Chadwick. Yeah, Scott really came onto the scene when he played with Scott McDonald. They uh, won three years ago in Elmira. Uh, they went uh, through the uh, event fairly, fairly solid. Uh, won every game and ended up winning the whole thing. So, represented Tara at the Briar. Be slow, Joe. Not happy with that result, but a little early break for uh, Team McEwen with the hammer. They're going to split the rings and see if they can run it out to the end of the first and take a the quick deuce out of the gates. It's not as easy as it sounds, trust me. You got to hit and stick on everything. And, and this is a lead for Team McEwen, Joey Hart. Yeah, Joey joined the team uh, two and a half weeks ago. Um, Jim McEwen qualified and then uh, made a personnel change and uh, brought in Joey. Along with Joey came uh, Dad Richard, so he's acting as coach this week for the McEwen team. He's been doing his due diligence and uh, checking out rocks and stealing rule books when he can and getting as much information as he can on uh, what's going on out here. And he comes out with some words of wisdom when they call a timeout. The uh, second for Team Epping is Patrick Jansen. Patrick played for many years Scott. for Epping back Scott. in the day, and last year he was with Botcher, and he's back in Ontario. Real good. 
Nose doesn't look awful. Still normal. You're going to see a really trade the hits back and forth there. here. I don't expect anybody to get too aggressive in the first end. They're going to run it up and down. It also helps them bank a little bit of time for later in the game if it gets really important. These teams tend to uh, use a bit of time in some of the discussions. Joey, even though clocks, you know, they've never been in trouble, trouble, but they they can get down to where they start to hustle a bit. And, uh, you know, if they can avoid that, let's they play this end fairly quick, both sides, and then say, okay, we've got an extra time uh, going forward. Yeah, both these teams played at uh, two thirty this afternoon. Anyway, yep. If he picks it and pushes it out to the wing. And that was Brent Lang, second for McEwen. That's just brutal. Yep. Whoa. Yep. John's working to try and group them up so they can uh, try and get a double, but uh, obviously uh, Team McEwen's going to try and hit and roll to the wings the opposite way and split the rings as much as they can, but uh, sticking around is the most important thing. We'll keep you up on the up-to-date on the tiebreaker game going on on Sheet A. You can definitely follow it. Just go to www.curlontv.ca. Um, team Duncan is uh, playing Team Howard. Both teams... Uh, Finished the uh, crossover draws tied at uh, four and three. So uh, they play tonight, and the winner of that game will face Team Inglis in tomorrow morning's semifinal. And that'll be at 10.30. And the yeah. winner of that will move on to play Team Holman at three o'clock in the uh, spot, women's way. final for the Scotties. And the right to represent Ontario at the Scotties and Kamloops. Uh, the men uh, we had no tiebreakers at the end. Team um, Team yep. Fournier uh, whoa, finished whoa, whoa. the event at four and three. Um, team Epping was five and two. Team McEwen six and one. So the six and one and five and two, McEwen and Epping playing here in the semifinal. They'll get the morning off and then they'll uh, fire up to meet uh, Team Howard at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So we'll have two finals at three o'clock tomorrow. Both uh, broadcast sheets will be open and ready to go. So we will have uh, Mary Chovers and Sam Steep will be bringing the action from uh, sheet B. And uh, Joey and I will be here on Sheet C bringing you the final for the men's. Great viewership numbers this week. Joey was looking at some stats uh, through the week. We're currently at just over 200,000 viewers, uh, half a million impressions. Um, that's great. Uh, we've been building this product at uh, Curl On for quite a while now. And uh, it's just nice to see it coming to fruition. Nice to see that players and fans, and, and we're getting comments from people all across Canada, some in the States. It's just nice to be able to watch, and uh, that's great, right? Yep, very awesome. We are back to, um, McEwen had a roll out there, which is bringing us back to a very clean end. Both teams banking some time. I gotta catch this. That one jumped. Again, uh, John sporting glasses for the first time in curling, but. Uh, Still picking up five, six feet, eh? Two veteran teams, they'll, uh, you know, any changes in the ice, they'll learn it pretty quick and they'll get uh, settled in and we don't expect any serious problems. The ice has been fantastic all week. It has not changed much. Uh, we've had a couple of days of uh, moisture, a little bit of snow, which naturally gets Still in the building holding. a bit and uh, creates Still some frost holding. on the outside. So Starting to curl boys now. have been keeping an eye on it and Starting to curl now. scraping it. Uh, Still looks a little hard. Keeping everything moving. Fun. They touched the rocks up uh, early Friday morning. So everybody Good. was informed, all the players uh, knew that when they got here Friday, that the rocks had been uh, touched and they were all ready to go. So should be great going into the uh, Sunday finals. Mike McEwen just looking for a nose hit here. He's hitting a little high We're side and rolling out. Yep. yep. So I won't well, bother John. It gives him another chance to uh, pick a path and uh, try and learn draw weight. It's, it's almost a free practice shot again. 
So they will uh, put this in the rings, I assume, and uh, Mike McEwen will be looking to roll out and wrap up the first end with a blank. Just not unexpected at this level of curling. After this afternoon's game, John Epping's team decided to take full advantage of the, within the rules of uh, a little practice time on the sheet and their yellow rocks. Yeah, so in, in play, uh, in playoffs, uh, the teams get to pick the rocks. Um, because we have a, uh, two, like a mixed event where we have women on one side and men on the other side. So uh, Curlon team decided that uh, the men would be able to choose from rocks from sheet C and sheet D, and the women were allowed to choose rocks from sheets A and sheet D. That way there was no arguments and it was simple. So Team Epping um, got to come out and practice. Team McEwen already had the rocks picked up. They, they voted for rest, and they decided decide to park. Um, so they gave us the colors and then uh, told the ice team when they got here which rocks they wanted. They're from blue rocks from which uh, sheet, and then Team Epping threw for a very short time. Uh, Less than 15 minutes, and they had the rocks into the uh, team. So we have our, our blank in the first, and uh, we'll uh, see you back for the second shortly. Thinking about a home renovation? Castle Building Centers will make your home renovation plans a reality. Whether you're starting to build from scratch or just adding on, Castle is the best place to start. Visit your local Castle store for the best products, value, and service, and for all your building material needs. Castle Building Centers is a proud sponsor of the 2023 Ontario Scotties and Ontario Tankard in Fort Elgin. Visit your local Castle Building Center or go to castle.ca to find a dealer near you. So welcome back, folks, for the uh, start of the second end. Uh, we, because of the quick start uh, there just before 8 o'clock, uh, we missed out on uh, introducing the team. So uh, let's uh, run the graphics if we can on uh, introducing the teams, folks. Introducing from the Royal Canadian Curling Club, Team McEwen. Skip, Mike McEwen. Vice, Ryan Fry. Second, Brent Lang. Lead, Joey Hart. Coach, Richard Hart. Team McEwen would like to thank their sponsors. Cool Bet. Princess Auto. Hardline. And the Sober Market. Introducing from the Lee Side Curling Club, Team Epping, Skip, John Epping, Vice, Matthew Cam, Second, Pat Jansen, Lead, Scott Chadwick, Coach, Jim Wilson. Team Epping would like to thank their sponsors. Batano, Grounded Engineering, Radical Road Brewing Company, and Shipton's Heating and Cooling Limited. Yeah. So we're back to live action. So uh, Team Epping with uh, without the hammer decided to throw up a centerline guard. They got it in the uh, Two, two and a half position on the center line, so we can never remove from play uh, an or off the center line for the next yeah. two more rocks. Combo both. Team uh, McEwen drew the top button, and then Team Epping was going to come frozen to it, and they just That's got a little deep on the 12 foot, so you're up to date, and that's uh, where we're at today. Good crowd in here again tonight, Joey. It's uh, Again, I don't see a lot of seats uh, up there available for anybody, and uh, the uh, lounge behind the sheet is uh, filling. Still a little bit of on ice seating uh, over on sheet E. We uh, put out some chairs and some tables. The host committee did, and still a little room there. But so Team uh, McEwen is in a perfect freeze here. Really good. Not quite frozen, but uh, John's going to uh, move his own rock. Yes, McEwen with the the hammer in the end, lying two, both in the forefoot. So. Pat, 
Patrick Jansen here, throwing the intern. It's over a little bit, but did open it up. I'll tell you in the uh, tiebreaker game, Team uh, Duncan without Hammer stole one in the first, so they're uh, leading Team Howard, Carly Howard, one to nothing. Yeah, they had a really interesting back and forth game against uh, Team Inglis this afternoon. They did. Third game today for Team Howard, uh, Carly Howard. Yeah, they, that's, uh, they had to play the tiebreaker this morning to get into the, the uh, sorry, tiebreaker last night. And uh, sorry, no, they didn't. They played the one versus the two versus two game this morning, and then the one versus two game this afternoon, and then this tiebreaker. Um, yep. So. Uh, a rare three-game day, but they're more incapable uh, than used to that. It's the only three-game day they've had this week, so I'm not totally concerned for them. I think they'll be fine. John's going to attempt this uh, run back after Team McEwen put the, the guard back up. Yep. This looks like it's... Over curling again. No, nope, he did get catch, it. Uh, did catch it. Nice. Over to one. <laughs> well, we we do have a chance here. We'll mention today. Also, we we had the Special Olympics draw and uh, totally made my day. It was complete <laughs> joy and awesome to watch and. For anybody that's ever been around, if you get a chance and you're near the Tankard and the Scotties, please come and watch the Special Olympics game. It's a fantastic event. Uh, we do the A and B final every year for them. Uh, some years we've done the C also. Had three sheets of uh, athletes out here. They play a four-in game and have a little pizza party and uh, prizes. So. Super excited, and we're happy to host it. It's a great event for uh, for all of us here in the uh, curling world. You you won't see anybody that uh, works or volunteers for curl on that doesn't have a big smile on that day. The host committee took it on as a big endeavor this year, and I want to thank uh, Kate Hagen for uh, really really taking that one on. And uh, she, yeah, she was just so involved; it was great. They piped they piped the athletes in the whole deal. They were treated like as if it was uh, the championship. We got to call their game the other night. Yeah, it was a great game. You could see the little uh, brotherly, uh, I'll call it love, but uh, it was, uh, they were they were jobbing at each other, but in, in good spirits. There was nothing, uh, nothing bad happening at all. He's fighting the ice a little bit uh, early. That's the different paths, different uh, first, you know, first two ends. So advantage to John. He's going to try and tuck in behind one of these. Uh, the his, start, uh, get the weight, and Scotty can bring it over. Guards probably. now and see if he can uh, maybe get a sneaky one here. It surprised me. I got 13 on three. I thought that'd stop in the house. Quicker than, yeah, definitely. It has to be, guys. I got 13.93 on that. Yeah. So I think you're looking for kind of 14.8. John is talking about the hog to hog speed. Line's good. Line's good. Yep. Hard line. Gotta go, Pat. Really gotta go. Keep going. They're working this hard rock pretty hard to try and get by, and they succeeded. Two big now bodies. It, uh, is grabbing. Two big bodies sweeping Just on that a hair one. Hair too deep, so uh, this will give uh, advantage back to Mike McCune if he can successfully uh, yeah. make the freeze. Oh, 
I was thinking there's got to be someone near there. And skip Mike McEwen with his long time taped up room. Very familiar routine, always touches his knee. Manitoba tuck Lines delivery. Yeah, I know the boys were a little concerned about that path Lines that Ryan good. threw and you know they're trying to decide did Ryan just get into a fast spot? Uh, so close, yep. Looks like they've adjusted and they got Hard it really line. close here. It's really yeah. crashing. A perfect freeze by uh, Mike McEwen. John's uh, going to try and fall it down. Just a touch more ice. I think it's yeah. good. And Ryan, Ryan Fry indicating <laughs> hug to hug on that was 15 1, which. That's significantly quicker than it's been, right? It's been in the four, low 14s the last few draws. We saw it up as high as 14 and a half, 14 6. So. Uh, the extra heat in the building with uh, the extra fan base. Fine's good. Go easy. Like to see some curl. Like to see some curl. Fine's getting close. It's gonna be Scott's rock. Scott, you gotta go. Okay, can't. Wait's good. Just needs to curl up a bit. I'm trying to get it to drag over so it's right on top. So this will give uh, Mike yeah, Kuhn a like chance for the two. He's got to get right? it past the guard, and carve yeah. it in, and get to the nose. Should push it back to back uh, 80s. I would assume they're going to throw no more than back back 12, probably. Like we said, four or five feet further than he threw his first one. That's right. He's calling back line as it gets down to the uh, other end. So. Right, and Mike agreed on the exact ice here. And three quarters, four. What's that? Brent's thinking a little bit less. So what weight are you throwing? Okay. Calling for backline weight. They've adjusted the broom a little bit. And this looks really good for two. Yep. Should be successful. So uh, second in here, we have Team McEwen with the hammer scoring a deuce to take a 2 nothing lead heading into the third. number one fan holiday and express we're there so you can be too and welcome back to the third end uh, we're here to talk uh, about rocks uh, i think team uh, epping is a little concerned at a couple of rocks so they're uh, Trying to decide who's going to take what, and you, we all know what happens. Uh, typically, the second gets the, um, we'll call them the garbage, but uh, they had a chance to match today, and they, they would have uh, been happy with that set that they picked. Uh, they had 16 rocks to choose eight, so. We might not be at capacity tonight, but I'm going to say we're really close. Let's say they're yeah. close for now. They weren't the same throws then. 
it's a good crowd. It's been good crowds all week, Joey. Even through the morning draws, we've been uh, solid all week. And five, six hundred uh, people through the doors uh, for morning, afternoon draws. And then uh, as we progress into the weekend, we're we're pushing the thousand right now for sure. Yeah, I mean, in curling, a full venue um, rarely happens, and it's happening this week consistently. Uh, yesterday at 9 a.m. when I I came in, I did not expect what I saw, which was <laughs> <laughs> barely a seat in the building. No, and with uh, with the local sponsorship uh, package that the, the local committee was able to generate, and then ticket sales. That's what helps us uh, be able to put on a quality event like this and rent an arena, come into a community. And, you know, one of the nice things is we we get to leave a nice legacy with the host committee. Um, you know, I, I, I would expect, I think the budget was just slightly over $100,000 to be left here. And that's excellent, right? It, uh, it helps. Uh, we had ticket packages. The host committee come to us and asked if we could uh, allow the local club to sell tickets. And for every, they got... Uh, I think it was 20% of the revenue back to the local committee. So with, I know they gave over checks to over $10,000 on uh, total on uh, Monday of the opening day to uh, some of the host clubs. So that was awesome, right? We were able to put a little bit of money back into clubs' hands, and then the host committee makes clubs. So it's a good thing. The club will make good use of that. Uh, I know from last year's event, they uh, put new inserts in the rocks in their club, and I'm sure... A lot more is planned be, uh, for this year. I'm sure they got some renovations in mind. I think there's some need for a roof or uh, whatnot. I heard a camera exactly what it is, but I can update you on sheet two, on sheet A, I mean, in our uh, women's tiebreak game from the crossover pools. Team uh, Howard has scored one in the second end with Hammer, so it's a 1-1 tie after two. Back to the action here. We uh, Team McEwen sitting one under just biting the forefoot. And uh, they're going to throw a little hawk wader at this and try and uh, hit the sh rock, the yellow rock, and move in. And just, just above their own blue would be perfect. They're hoping to sit right on top of it, not to spill this way. This will give John the opportunity to get rid of both blues and uh, potentially roll under his own yellow. Back and forth here. They're just confirming the weight. I think they've decided to throw normal. John thought control at first, but uh, Pat's asked for normal, so John's put the room down where he thinks he needs to uh, to make it roll. And they're going to try and roll underneath their own yellow here. Yeah, I think Pat's uh, thinking there is take a little bit of the curl out. Yep. And when you up the weight, it becomes extreme yep. more important to make sure you nail that yep. broom, which these guys do. Yep. With trying to hold this. Now they're going to see if they can roll it. With ease. Yeah, great shot there. Yeah, it's uh, half buried for sure. I'm sure uh, Brent from the hot can see half to two thirds of that rock. So they'll uh, try and do the opposite and roll underneath the blue. It's back and forth. See who makes the first perfect roll. At, uh yeah, it's, it's not too early in the game to say that uh, while well McEwen has a two nothing lead you know, Epping kind of needs to respond here and answer that. Yeah, they, they definitely uh, don't want to let it get away from them, that's for sure. Well, they're going to uh, try and now roll the other way. Got a little confused. They were uh, talking much weight, control, or uh, board, and decided on control. And So same discussion here with uh, Pat Jensen and uh, John Epping. They're going to try a control weight hit and try and roll underneath the blue here. 
and I love that. I love that uh, not only is the team choices of shots done by committee, uh, he's letting the thrower to pick his weight. And yeah, and John's asking what do you see, and Team uh, McEwen did the same thing. What do you see from your end? What's what's feeling right for you? And in this case, uh, Curl up enough so they've uh, sort of left it open. So control weight hit for uh, Ryan Fry here to try and roll underneath the blue. One of these days, one of these guys will make it perfect, and then we'll probably see a run back. So they're trying to carve it over now, see if they can get it carved enough, but looks like it's going to be a hit and roll away. Yep. accomplished. Uh, John had said stay there. He did not want to half roll and then give uh, Team Epping a chance to, or uh, Team McEwen a chance to hit and roll underneath. So, yep. Definitely don't want to roll out and give him a free draw. No, for sure. So, barring a mistake, I'm going on a limb here and I'm going to say this will be a blank. Okay. John's gonna give it the whirl though to try and hit it and roll underneath, I think. As he called normal with that ice, so I'm guessing he's gonna nose hit. So they uh, were, we're trying to figure which rock they were going to roll under, but uh, I'm pulling that, they left it right in the middle. So mm -hmm. Mike's going to have to navigate a fairly sizable port. They moved. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can throw firm. Might be the same size, size up my face. Yeah, yeah. Firm fry. Which one it was. That's why I wanted to build them both. Yours were moving before you threw it. Nose hit was the call. Nose hit was the result. Normal? Yep. Good job, Mike. Yep. I'm just talking to our social media uh, guru. Jordan uh, was preparing. Uh, we had all the teams sign brooms here, Joey. Uh, uh, Gold Line United, we curl brooms, and uh, we're going to raffle them. So uh, we're, we're starting a new project. Uh, we've started. It's been on the go for a year now, and we're just getting it fully ramped up. But it's called Helping Kids Curl. And our goal is to raise money, uh, very similar to a jump start. Uh, you know, uh, the flattery is the best form of imitation. So, or imitation is the best form of flattery, I should say. I'll get it right one day. But uh, we're going to start. So for every donation that uh, you make, to the Sticks and Stones Foundation between now and April 30th, uh, you'll get a raffle for one of those, one raffle ticket, which will enter you in a raffle for one of those brooms. We're also going to have the uh, teams who win this week uh, sign. So we'll have uh, four Ontario brooms and uh, 
24 United We Curl Brooms from Gold Line, and uh, we'll try and raise a few funds for that charity so that we can start paying. The whole goal behind this uh, this project is that uh, we can start uh, paying for equipment and uh, membership in a curling facility in Ontario for uh, deserving youth. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll get more details out too as that gets launched, but I expect to see that on our social media accounts uh, shortly. You have till April 30th to get your entry in. So, but if, if you donate sixty dollars, you're going to get three ballots, and we'll uh, draw them all one day, May 1st, and send them out to you. Very nice. Yeah, it was kind of the teams to uh, do that for us. And we appreciate their support and help with uh, anything we can do. So, uh, last rock here, I would assume uh, John is uh, looking to blank. He's uh, just got to pick which turn he likes the best. And you like that? Yep. John throwing the other turn yep. this time. Yeah, mission accomplished. Uh, you know, John throws it fairly hard, has no issues with uh, the hired one. So we have a blank here in the third and uh, leaves Team McEwing leading 2-0 over uh, Team Epping. Even though I'd just gotten a new job that paid well, I still wanted to be prepared for the unexpected. My Sun Life advisor encouraged me to do three things. Get health coverage, start paying back debt, and build a safety net. When I got my cancer diagnosis, my advisor had already helped me become debt-free with enough set aside for emergencies. When I took time off, I didn't worry about my finances so I could focus on getting better. Today, I'm in remission. Want to get started on your story? Let's get you there. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Joey Hart just uh, throwing what I would consider to be a center line guard. They're going to try and uh, get this in a two, two and a half position right on the center line. So it can't be moved with the new uh, center line no tick rule. No, actually threw it right in the rings. Uh, still a little two point lead. They're going to let John uh, take the opportunity and take the risk to, uh, so John's going to put up a corner guard immediately, I would say. Gonna ask uh, Scott Chadwick to uh, make a nice corner. We've noticed this week the corner guards are really hard to get buried behind. You need to be almost a uh, half a rock over buried. Um, they can get at these rocks if the corner guard's too high. They can get at them with uh, with ease. A little deep. A little deep, and it only protects uh, probably half the 12 foot at most, even though it's uh, fully covered on the inside 12. Uh, trust me, a rock can get around there fairly easy and pick a rock off in the middle of the 12 foot without any serious concern. We've seen it all week. Joey Hart going to throw the tight center guard. Starting to grab there now and going to start hooking across. And actually, yeah, they're coming in again. Coming in slightly, yeah. yeah you see the finish, uh, you know, from the hog line in, that moved three feet. Kind of went sideways at the end. Yeah, they have been doing that. As the speeds come right off them, they have been uh, yeah, taking a left shot. turn Clyde and just gliding to a stop sideways. Which is great. That's the game. Got to go wait. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you got to go line, please. Trying to go around here. They've got uh, 
Lots of room. They're dragging it. Just going to try and drag this to uh, get it fully in the 12 foot. And they did. Again, that rock from the hack, you might see a sliver. And I say might, but uh, you can get at that, believe it or not. So Mike's going to go uh, put a guard up now. This one's uh, looking a little light. Yeah, they're going to have to work this a lot. They were hoping to get it uh, into a two position. This is going to be more in the three range at the most. Yeah. You can see that rock just going sideways when the speed's fully off. So now because it's so high, John's going to come around. You can get to almost nose on this because of the height of that uh, guard. But with uh, board weight, they're going to try and uh, hit it and roll away. It's got to be solid. So solid hack to board, they're saying, which is not a big difference between solid hack and board and a, a rock. And John's style of play has never been shy to be aggressive. Almost board. We got board here. We got board. So they're uh, nope. working the rock. And now they're going to go they're gonna by the guard by a good four inches. Now they want to roll this shooter away, which is not going to happen. Nice to get that blue one right out for Team Epping, which is just caught on to the end, but uh, they're sitting two and three. Two and three. So I expect... Uh, just got to watch the jam on the back, too. I like this run now. What what does the double look like off that guard? How's that double? Run. He's on. Well, uh, no, yeah. I well, think you gotta make this. Oh, you're bored out of your hand. Okay. Sort of dug in the side of it. Mike's going back to his first thought. Okay. Broom right in the oh. center of the rock. Oh, yeah. and Brent Lang. Third end just finished on sheet eight. We'll get you an update on the score as soon as they're done putting the rocks away. And the, uh, oh, it's a one, one for Team Duncan with uh, Hammer. Bit of a miss there for uh, Team McEwen. Opens the door for uh, Team Epping to uh, figure some way to lie three with. I like. I like sitting three. Never happened. Stay there. Oh. You can play that. Yeah. That's just going to make that Leave double. them a what, a half or half rock? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the two shots, John. It's either tapping it or, or you're playing with like. We're okay with that. We play that. He's going to have the double. So Maybe I guess he's okay. Yeah. You want to show the same weight or lo maybe a little more? Maybe go board, Pat, just to get this out. So the team had a little discussion there, and they've decided they're going to uh, play the outside of the yellow rock and remove the blue, leave all three around. They're hoping the shooter will roll to the outside 12. They know it may leave a double for Team McEwen off the uh, other outside rock across the house to the center. So they're going to give it a whirl. Call was for board weight here. Board. Yep. Got to go, Scott. Got to go, Scott. Yep. He's got to hold it out there. Whoa. Roll, John. He did. Roll it hard here. Yeah. The actual double is easier uh, on the intern side. Half rock, Half third. Half rock double. So Ryan just reminding uh, Joe to watch the spin up. Uh, 
Yeah, he doesn't want to see Vic Router's favorite shot with the rock going. Yeah, they don't want the rock to spin up and out of the ring, so uh, depending on the weight call, which I'm assuming will be fairly normal here. Okay, so they're sitting sh second shot. John's got to be concerned about the jam. Yeah. So when he removes it, he's got to. Roll big. Yeah. So he's going to try and remove he's it between the two yellows. Hack, call it hack. Call it See, hack I'm seeing like a hack the board. Yeah. Yeah, you can never, you never leave like a rock like that okay. at, in that spot at this level. It's got to, got to make a play on it. Yeah, this one's curling. This is uh, to stick around, which looks good, actually. Great yeah. shot. That was good sweeping by uh, Pat Jensen to hold that line because that rock was curling. Kind of like a thick hopper. Yeah. Yeah. You throw the end. No, I don't like the end. Out no. turn. Okay. I, I want. Edge of the rock, Mike. I've seen this kind of go back. Edge of the rock. Edge of the rock. So Ryan had the outturn in his mind, and uh, they uh, they were doing what was called the long roll, the long uh, double, or just uh, hit some rolls on top, and uh, it was a great shot. Yeah, got a nice freeze out of that. And John looking to unlock it. Back 12. Okay. You want to throw the in? Yeah. My out's not there. Back 12. Just try to keep it to the nose. Let's try and keep it a hair high on the nose. Okay. Should be good for speed, eh? Running close to last beam. There are lots yeah. of communication amongst the team members. You know, the, the throwers just talking to the front end, asking for speed, making sure that it should be good speed. You know, we're, do we have a path here that's kind of funky or something we don't know? In this case, so uh, everything seems to be A1 for the go. They're just throwing just through weight, trying to unlock those two stones. Real close. So just through weight, uh, that was close, maybe back 12, might have been, we're being finicky, right? It might have been a rock short of what they wanted. Yeah. But that's the precision these guys demand. I know uh, Matt coming down is like, ah, I wanted to move that another full rock. And that would have uh, left it open. Yeah, and for the moment, blue is second shot. Correct. Even if you, you can even roll right under. Yeah, I can step on. Yeah. It's just... Give me ice to, for nose. Okay, just throw a uh, patrol. Okay, I like it.
lots of rocks in play on uh, she day most of the night that I've looked over and the team uh, was a steal early with team Duncan and then it was uh, one each with the hammer after so team Howard holding hammer right now in the fourth accomplished they're looking to roll underneath the blue guard it's about half open can I make that can I make it like seven eight or jams or if he gets around on the nose it's gonna be hard to score can you ever get it away over here I can Unless you do your seven eights. It loses the eight, right? Yeah. So one's leaving for sure. Eight's leaving. Eight's leaving, and then if I roll to the side side. of the button, yeah. pretty good. I think so. So they're yeah, talking about hitting the yellow rock, uh, about seven eighths of it, which should get them to roll towards the four foot. Nose, you're gonna have a real and uh, possibly. I don't think they can miss that back yellow, Joey. I don't know if the. Uh, I think that's our only no, um, it's the, the yeah, rocks so are fairly close. Um, yeah, the, card now. the drag okay. effect will make them. It will make the blue rock move towards the middle, but seeing, like, I don't think they're far enough apart. Try and roll to the back of the button almost. No, mm -hmm. it's always always catching that yellow. Yeah. Try and roll it in as far as you can. It's been Is a that, back and forth like end. That, Matt, uh, or not? Yeah, it's fine. was set up for. Two or three, and now he's going to need uh, need some help to get to. Whoa! Whoa! Pat. Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Stay going. Mm, stayed right there. But yeah, uh, they they're a little yeah. huh? team McKeown's gonna have to move it and make sure they don't jam on this back. You don't think that like drags right to nose? Yeah, this is That's a the fear, right? Uh huh. No, it's high side. It's it's on to here. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna nut this, but. Well, if I make this, so. Yeah, it's right. yeah. It's going pretty hard. I pull me in at it? I think so, just so I can pull it more. Intern heel? That looks like. So, a little bit of a debate whether that is going to come right on the blue. Well, I'm or hit and roll out. Yeah, but, uh, I think you need here. Mike is countering with that. If he gets a proper roll yeah. to center line, fully buried. Out. Ryan was pretty convinced that this was going to jam right onto the the blue rock at the back. Uh, Mike feels it's going to uh, give it a glancing blow and get rid of everything and he's, he's saying either way it doesn't matter if I roll into the pot, top button, it shouldn't matter. Yeah. So. Hit it, hit it into the pot. Yeah. He's throwing it hard. He said that. He said I'm going to throw it hard. So I'm assuming peel. They're trying to curl it. He tossed it a little in. And it did drag right onto the blue as uh, called by Ryan. Which leaves a quiet uh, hit for two by Team Epping. Yeah, that's solid hack. Just enough outside on that throw. You know, that weight would not come back. Kind of that solid hack that you guys have been throwing. So, uh, team mapping calling solid hack here. So, I guess that's one rock short of board or, or control. I'm just teasing. I, I've got a different weight solid hack, hack, uh, 
And then uh, we've got some teams in Manitoba calling a weight called Nice. So yeah, yep. yeah. Well, so how they just want to make sure that uh, they can control the rock, and they're very comfy here. And I uh, seeing this shot, I'm going to say uh, two for uh, Team Epping in the uh, fourth end. So yep, confirm that. So it's a two-two tie after four. You're here for the tool you need in your perfect color. You're here to fuel your passion and be inspired by something new. You're looking for something specific or maybe nothing in particular. Whatever you're here for, we're here for you. Your local source for premium kitchenware, gourmet food, and more. Welcome back, folks. Um, so, uh, Team McEwen will uh, take the hammer into the fifth end. And we'll see what the call is here from Team Epping, whether they go in with uh, their first rock or uh, throw a guard. The uh, center line no tick rule. It's uh, an opportunity anytime you uh, can. If you can get a, a guard in the center line, it can't be removed till the fifth stone of the till the fifth stone has been thrown. Can't even be moved off the center line. So um, interesting. Two stones to come in the on sheet A, but uh, Carly Howard just made a raise uh, take out that uh, left them lying one. Three, four, five, and uh, Team Duncan with one rock uh, just outside the four foot under cover. So they're going to try and uh, lie two here shortly, I think. John has called this out front. So game on. Yeah, as long as they get to the uh, center line, it's a great guard. Tight, easily usable later on if they need to r run one back. So uh, Team McEwen will go right to uh, drawing around. Joey Hart said full control of his weight. Yeah, Lee Joey Hart puts it right exactly where they called it. Top four, right on the center line. So they've asked uh, Lee Scott Chadwick to come uh, right to that rock and freeze right on it. So. Still short, John. We had talked about how uh, neat and cool it was for Glenn and Scott Howard to play together, and I think the same could be said for uh, Richard Hart coaching and his son out there. Oh, no doubt. So a little short, but not uh, not totally out of uh, where the team needs it. So, Tim McEwen. Uh, going to come right around that shot that was just thrown and see if they can get to the Almost to the uh, button, heart button. Sweepers are uh, saying line only, which means they're pretty comfortable with the weight. Great Another great shot by Joey Hart for sure. Exactly where they called it. So John's going to uh, board. move that danger board. rock that they just board. left there. He's going to move it. Uh, he's calling solid board. So he's going to try and uh, hit his own, get rid of the top red or top uh, blue, and hang around.
You're big. Whoa. Whoa, Matt. <sighs> Matt. Keep it going, Matt. So uh, I'll tell you right now, Team Howard scored a two on sheet A with their uh, with their hammer, and have uh, taken a three-one lead after four. So it's a tight little port for them to get through, and they succeed and, lead and move the uh, shot stone out of play. On our sheet here, uh, we're going to see Team McEwen try hit and roll. Brent Lang's first. Three carved and Jones like take the roll. I was like, kidding me? Brent, uh, one of the more decorated uh, curlers in the Ontario going, circuit. Keep going, Joe. He's been around for a lot of years. Won, uh, going, Joe. He's won a lot of events over his life, uh, including a Worlds or two or three. Or he won, uh, won with Team Howard back in the day. I was taking control. Pat, good shot. Pat Jansen uh, hitting and rolling under cover. Okay, Langer, make a good one here. Like the end or the out. Yeah. Good John. Didn't do much. I think he put it, yeah. You know, let's go. So, great shot by Brent. Gets two. Clears the front. Moves the uh, moves their rock into a guard position, and so uh, with hammer, it's a sure a great shot. Helps him along. Sure was. Wasn't uh, far off getting the uh, the third one. No. Close. Nothing's going to try and get under cover here and fly two. See if they can uh, create the force. I'd love it. to uh, force team mapping here in the fifth and wrestle Go back close, control. Go. Hey, you're okay. Go close, guys. Um, you're okay control now. after uh, five. Go to close. Hammer into the six. Here, get ready. No, you're okay. Yeah, then, yeah, then. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're heavy, we're heavy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to slide too far, too deep, because yeah, that's fine. It's more than fine, because uh, otherwise Team Epping would or Team McEwen would have just went right for us to it. So now you're going to see a run back by uh, Ryan Fry with his first. Trying to make that blue stone stop, and it just just rolled out. Which uh, we'll leave Team Epping with the same shot. They're going to uh, come around that guard, I would assume, or yeah, something similar, I guess. Yeah. Ryan doing double duty this week as. Uh, Coach Felt for Team close, Holman. Guys. Felt like more. Um, he was on the ice uh, yeah, during Team like Holman's victory this afternoon. Here, so basically, all I could do is come over with the computer and show them what rocks yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, liked yeah. on the sheet, and uh, well, 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 easy. and then say good luck, well. ladies, and walked away. So, um, well. which well. could be the same thing tomorrow in the final, well. if, uh, yeah, if the yeah, Team yeah, McEwen yeah, is yeah, uh, yeah. prevalent today. Okay, Matt. 
That's a great shot again. So it's going to leave uh, Tim yeah. McEwen nothing but a run back. They're uh, the rocks. Half a quarter rock overburied, which is what you're looking for on this ice. Yeah, you're seeing a few of the uh, few of the players doing that. You know, Glenn Howard is coach for Jennifer Jones this year was yep. announced. And yep. uh, there's a few others as well. Enough to chase it, Matt? Do you have enough to chase it all or no? Pat just yelled down, John asked if they had enough it? to chase, and he says, well, you've got an eighth, um, which is a, a big decision here, whether they chase. If they chase it and uh, happen to wreck on the guard, that, John? that will leave uh, Team McEwen pretty much an automatic Team two, because yep. I'll just mate. come out and hit the open rock and Speed's roll good. away a little bit and not leave a double for Shot John. Right. But uh, John's decided to chase here. He really wants to... Uh, set up the force and take control of uh, what they call control. Even-ended hammers is uh, control of the game, so he'd love to uh, have that happen. So, I assume this is hack weight, uh, Joey? Yeah. They're uh, going to want to just... Yep. Uh, Push this through the rings. Real hard. They're really trying to hold it here. Scott uh, Chadwick's all over it. Whoa. Looking good yes. right now. They're comfortable Whoa. with it. They're not wrecking, that's Pat. for sure. So Just by. They have rock to, uh, but do they have enough rock to, uh, weight to kick it out? That's the fear. Just enough. And they did. Great shot by John. That is a phenomenal shot. So uh, they said one eight, the and they got to what a third of the rock, yeah, uh, Joey? Here, right? Made it look easy. <laughs> Yeah, I would have been Wreckville all day. Yeah, I would have taken the tolerance and wrecked all day with you. Yeah, I might have hit the uh, guard on the nose more than likely and <laughs> tapped them in and really made a mess of it. <laughs> but this has been a well-played game, not a uh, unexpected. Yeah, no. These two teams are uh, at the top of the tier in the, in the rankings and top of the tier in uh, the curling circles, so they know their, uh, their tendencies and... Uh, So Mike's going to try a hit and roll here. And in the hit in the roll, he's probably hoping to clip the back one as well. Just clip that back mm -hmm. one and roll it so like that. Roll them out, and you know what we're going to see. Unless John makes the perfect roll, they will uh, call you. You're going to throw a uh, board? We'll call you blank in. Like it was close, but yeah. to get the perfect roll. You like that? Not yeah. sure. Not sure he was going to get the back one. Yeah, I agree. Couldn't have yeah. both, I don't think. It would have been close. Us curlers are greedy, Joey, so uh, we look for everything and anything. So it was a good shot. It just it was very hard to, like you say, hit and roll and make the double. Whoa, 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 whoa. Z, close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pat. Hard, Pat. I'm trying to carve this a bit. Scott. Whoa. Pat. Shot. So now Mike can see that little sliver, but he's <laughs> yeah. choosing to draw. I think that's too dangerous. So mission accomplished for Team uh, Epping. Uh, like I said, they would be super happy with um, super happy with a uh, a force, and uh, you know all indications that's what's going to happen here. Yeah. Are you getting like high four teams or just a mid? I'm going to give a shout out to the guys in the truck who've been uh, working long hours to bring you sheet-to-sheet uh, -sheet coverage, uh, as we like to, our tagline says, from the ice to your device. Mm -hmm. 
Give uh, Mike a high probability of making this. These are uh, at this level, draw to the forefoot. Uh, Looks like it's on that same path as Joe's. Just going to curl routine. a little more, boys. Mm, Super's the good judge. The prunes are down. The they're expecting it to curl right at the end, so they're uh, got to go, work this one really hard. Yeah, he, he did have a couple surprising misdraws earlier this week. Yeah, it's, it's another one. Does not look like this is going to have enough steam. So it's a steal of one for Team Epping here in the fifth end to uh, take a 3-2 lead after five. We'll take our fifth end break. We'll be back to with you in five minutes. The Roaring Game is rocking the sogging shores, and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tankard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21, and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Elgin Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. When you push out, get the rock in front of you, okay? And as you push out, just try and keep that left foot under your body as best you can. And if you want to put put a little weight on that, use it as, like, we're not trying to make shots here. Good job. That was impressive. This is going to be easy. So you need to sweep in front of the rock. Make sure you bend at the waist. Okay, guys, let's give this a whirl. Remember what Kate said. Bend at the waist, sweep in front of the rock. Enjoy the luxury of your own personal spa and make time with family amazing. Swim, exercise, relax, and play with all the benefits of a hot tub and pool in one unit. Arctic Spa's all-weather pools are the original and only pools specifically built for year-round use. Industry-leading quality and technology combined to deliver extremely low running costs compared to traditional pools. Now, owning a pool in any climate finally makes sense. You deserve it. ArcticSpaSouthampton.ca There's a lot more to curling than just watching the game. Here are the athletes. Right to it, right to it. Feel the energy. Cheer on Team Canada. Don't miss the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. Get your tickets at curling.ca.
And we're back at the Port Elgin Plex here for the Ontario Men's Tankard and Scotties. Our feature game is Team Epping versus Team McEwen. The players are making their way back onto the ice, taking a few slides. Current score is Epping 3, McEwen 2. Yeah, just looking at some of the stats for the viewership, and uh, I can proudly say we've uh, topped the 100,000 mark for the week uh, on this sheet alone. Uh, Joey, it must be you and I that's uh, drawn them in. I'll take that bet. Uh, we're very close on sheet B, uh, so we got to give Mary and uh, Sam some credit over there. But uh, super happy with the uh, the amount of viewership that we're receiving, and uh, I'm, I'm glad uh, to see it. And I'm, I'm sure the fans are happy that are out there looking, being able to see these games. So we uh, will bring you the back half of this game. We're uh, ready to go here with uh, Scott Chadwick throwing the guard. Uh, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, it's actually, line's really good, Pat. It's tight here. Yeah, never, never we're tight, line, really never tight. We're almost in. Okay. I think we're in. Yeah, they were calling it out it front. Better go. Yeah. It's better go. This is uh, going to run yeah, in. Yeah. And they were, they were hoping to sweep it late to get it fully in. Yeah, normally if, uh, if a rock's going to come in, you want to get it in, so you don't want to leave the opponent the opportunity to hit the rock and stay in the free guard zone. So uh, Team McEwen decided to ignore it. They're going to go out and throw their corner guard. So. And uh, we can update you on sheet A in the women's tie break. It was a... One with Hammer for Team Duncan to uh, end the fifth end at a 3-3 tie. The uh, loser of that game will be eliminated from contention, and the winner will uh, have the pleasure of moving on to play uh, Team Inglis in the morning in the uh, women's semifinal, which will be on Sheet B with our uh, fellow broadcast team, which are home tonight resting. And uh, I imagine Sam's probably still in the rink here watching curling. He's a pretty dedicated whoa, 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 curler whoa, whoa, and a uh, fan. Uh, I believe Mary's probably watching us online in the room, uh, getting some well-deserved rest. She's uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. worked diligently all week and broadcast every game. So, sweet pass. That's kind of a guard. I like putting it here. I think over here, no? Yeah. So. Uh, Shot voted on by uh, team, and uh, they're going to go to guard the other side. So happy. Plate's good. Mike was uh, topping his broom right at the end on uh, Port Elgin uh, Chrysler uh -huh. logo, and uh, they succeeded. Probably. John's going to call for the tap on uh, Top back Rock, four. see if he can get it to, he's calling back four, so. What do you think for speed, Pat? I think it's good like everywhere that, now. Patty? It's looking, looking good. Like yeah. They're just communicating the weight. I think that's good ice. So eight shot. The uh, fifth M uh, room mop. Back four is probably perfect. Theoretically makes it a little bit quicker. Mary's shaking her head uh, in her hotel room right she, now. Uh, she told us to the seniors it didn't, so I'm going to believe her. I wasn't Whoa. there. In, so uh, back eight Mary's here. Mary's got enough experience, experience back with that to, to know. Yep. Back eight. Back eight, John. Yep. Yep. Back four. Digging hard. Hard. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Really digging. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That dug a lot. That's good. Good spot. Oh. Uh, Cam saying good the rock pack. was uh, digging a lot more than they're uh, they've been seeing. So Mike's going to uh, come around the corner. Uh, I don't think he knows he can get rid of the front two stones anytime he wants. Yeah. So. Not like top four. With that. Yeah, and this offensive play. Yeah, but maybe still gave a good press. It shouldn't have done anything. Possibly a result of it being the sixth end. He's starting to think even ends already. Yeah, he'd like to score two with the hammer. Obviously, that's uh, pretty standard. I think he's uh, also not very happy about uh, 
Missing his draw in the fifth and uh, giving up a point, so. So they went by that guard, Joey, by what, a good two inches, and two. they know already that it's gonna come open because of its weight. And you can see that uh, John can easily attack uh, this rock from that path? side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a uh, quite a great seat we have right behind here. Yeah, we're just on this right side of the sheet and we're looking straight down on it, so we'll get a good view of this. Uh, I think it's gonna go for you. This, draw, this uh, hit, John thinks it's gonna go and he can roll all the way across the sheet to the center line, so. I can guarantee you that Pat can't see the inside of that rock from the other end, but he can, he's very close. Control. So, control weight. I think they're gonna have to Scott. make this curl here. Yeah, here goes the call for Scott. To Grant's go. gonna miss the guard by a Straight. full Straight. half rock. Fine, Pat. And stay there. That, that will leave uh, Team McEwen an opportunity to freeze. It's firm, eh? A little firm, yeah. Same weight. They're yeah. just discussing the weight. It was maybe a hair up from what they expected, and that made it ran a little straighter. You're watching all all eight players with. Great deliveries, go Brent Joe. here. You go, you if you've go. seen him throw one rock, you've seen him you throw go. them all because yeah. textbook yep. delivery, okay. square shoulders, total balance. So we got Joe uh, Hart trying to grind this across so that it uh, will sit second shot, which is fine by them right now. They, the positioning was more important than anything. They wanted to make sure that it was in front of that. Uh, yeah. Hack. Blue yeah, Rock, so hack. a little slow here. Matt Cam figures and uh, John agrees they can okay. chase that uh, Blue Rock from where Control. it is. And from us, we can, I can tell you from the hack, if he sees a third, I'll be surprised. And they expect this to move enough after that guard. And we've seen it all week, it has, so. I'll be very careful. Uh, not tough yeah. weight. That's the only yeah. uh, issue. If you bring your weight up oh, just that little bit, it'll oh. run a lot straighter. Solid hot. So you're yeah. going to call for. Uh, Whoa. Wow. Scott. You can see Scott finish the rock here after the guard. It went by by a good three, four inches and uh, gets to a third of the stone. So Mike will probably put on a repeat of what uh, just threw. And you saw there the oh, latest. Brushing technique known as knifing. Sweet. Or this. Sweet, Pat. Yeah, the sweeping has changed. Uh, we used to enforce a rule that uh, was you had to sweep across the rock, the entire rock. Now, uh, y what used to be considered corner sweeping is very much in play. Um, Line's good. A little worried about the weight on this one. They said out of his hand, they thought it was a little heavy. So line's really good. It's going to bust. We all know that. Should be good for weight. Now they're considered they've got it to uh, the weight to come off it and it just glides itself right into a perfect position. Second shot. They wanted to try and, they were actually trying to get it a foot shorter than that, Joey. Ah. Just, just top eight, because they, they know this is going to come open on that side. Kind of wait, John. John can hit the, the outside yellow. And you remove the blue relatively. This is actually easier than the last shot, Matt. Uh. Yep. Whoa. Easy, easy. Whoa. As predicted. So uh, Mike's going to stay here on this fence side. He definitely wants this rock to stop a foot Thanks. on the inside of where he is. He wants this to be I didn't, you know, I three quarters of the eight the foot so that he's right behind <laughs> that blue guard and not peeking out at all. To guess whether it was going to come down. Um, because with that yellow rock there, if he's on top of it, it's impossible for them to chase down the same path they're throwing here. So Brent's a little concerned that they're throwing Max here. Yep, yep. 
Might get a little Supers wick. have come off it. And it's carving across, but I think it's going to go a little deep. Hit and roll. No, it's not bad, actually. John may be able to chase. Uh, that rock is fully buried. I can uh, guarantee you that you're not going to see any of it from the hack. What do you like the out turn? Whatever you're seeing, Johnny. It does curl here. Yeah, I kind of see that out turn. Sure. Just through, though. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. yeah, but it shouldn't be an issue, though, to get it to do. Just through? John's yeah. going to follow it down with uh, what like they call right? just through weight. So yeah, I was uh, seeing get like here probably to the nose of it and uh, tap the shoe, the blue. Guys like the chase? Back 12. Yeah. Uh, almost through. Seems to want to go kind of right hand turnished in there. Oh, I think I need more. It's actually over buried. I know. It's up to you. We can go this way too. Yeah. You like this way? Do you think it'll get there? Yeah? The yeah, outturn we'll the intern. What turn do you like better? What turn do you think is better? I don't know, man. John just confirming with the front end and yeah. asking everybody. They both curl. Quick. It's up to you. So uh, Matt just said Gotta both give me curl. More, though. You want here? So yeah. Matt says they both curl. Pick the shot you like and throw it. So that's what they're going to do. Um. I want to go too much, Morris. An out turn. Back rings weight. Yep, both are equally weight sensitive here. And the sweeping has to be called. Pat, got to go. You got uh, hard, Pat. Hard, hard Pat. Like these two, they Hard can really pass. lean on that broom. Hard pass. This has got to move. That rock really move go. quite a bit. Really got to go. So going to be okay. Oh, just, just didn't get it. Maybe a hair too. You know, we're being splitting hairs here. They half. asked for. Uh, what, lot more now. They asked for back line, you know, and uh, that was definitely probably closer to hack. Oh, she's flirting with three though. We're shot. We're shot. We are. Heavy. Yeah. yeah. Here. So Ryan's saying that blue is, is shot here, and we're not going to second guess him because we tried that last night, didn't work so well for us. So we'll just uh, what concede if, that, if we that Ryan's if right. We show him half here open. He's just picking it, right? Yeah. So yeah. Team McEwen's By now in. Uh, how do we get three mode? Um, so they're looking at everything. So Mike's just confirming uh, what Ryan thinks. That's that was my concern. Yeah, I like this. Right here, half behind. So they're going to ask uh, Mike to um, get the rock half behind, cover in the yellow, and they're anticipating that John will throw the pick. And the risk with that comes that if he ever touches his own like rock in the rings, then it's an automatic three, <laughs> unless their rock Probably goes somewhere safe. Mike taking a little extra time, trying to dial in uh, his draw weight here. Front end. Uh, Line's getting good. Ryan's communicating the right weight okay, line is well getting very good. They want to have three quarters, whoa. half to yep. three quarter berry whoa. underneath whoa, whoa, us, whoa. and here they go. Whoa! whoa. Yep. They're gonna hey, go yeah. for weight, hard. I think. So they're trying whoa, to get hard. this whoa. just yep. a little yep. deeper. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's great a great shot. shot. Great shot with Mike. I'll make him happy after yeah, uh, missing the last one. He's, uh, you know, these guys like to know they have draw weight in their back pocket. That was 14. Evident there that they do. 
I guess I you can make that double. It goes underneath it, though. Or does it? What's that, sorry? I am just confirming that uh, you know, Mike's through all the way out. That's not straight, there, John. So no, that's really in a good spot. <laughs> no, you'd have to play it soft. What if I just tap it? That works. It's really good. You like that? It might be the easiest. Yep. Yeah. I'm in with that. Sean and uh, Matt a little concerned that, uh, you know, if they throw Seeing the that or they this. Yeah. know that it's Ooh, okay. probably there, so they're looking at tapping their you own like yellow. This. Let's I make do. this. I do too. Okay. And uh, they've defaulted need, uh, defaulted back, back to forward. Uh, what back I consider yeah. back, back eight. eight. Their strength. Patties you know, came down a little bit here, so. They're going to try and uh, make like this uh, shot. They need to get to almost nose like the, tap? Um, the two yellow stones are edge on edge which means to, right? to get to nose he's going to be really really close to that top guard stay yeah. here more yeah, i guess the plan here would be tap it in for shot just roll a little bit towards the the broom and cut it up not much roll though Yep, line. Yep, yep line. Yep, yep, yep line. Go. Real so hard, Scott. Hand, they're calling hard on line. Got to go, Scott. Whoa. So Whoa. they're really Whoa. hoping. And John's got Whoa. them off now. So close. they must be really yes. close. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Yes. Hard, and Scott. Just left it a hair too long. And uh, fortunately, they're hoping for it to spin in. And it did. So, uh, yeah. So they're lying. Second and third shot, so at least uh, Mike McEwen nothing more than just a straight draw for two, and he just made this one a second ago. So yeah, that was a fortunate rub yeah. to get second shot and also roll and, and be third shot. Yeah, they right? had it halfway down. They called them off, and then they uh, they got back on it, called them off, and got back on it. And then by that time, once this rock takes the curl, it's uh, mm -hmm. sayonara. It's going to move, and uh, get a little fooled there. So it's a. Uh, Draw for two for Mike McEwen to uh, take a four to two, a four to three lead after uh, six. Here we'll see how. Uh, this is the same, same shot he just threw. So we get our ice level camera going here. Uh, we're at a ice level camera out on out there, so we uh, can get you different angles. Even wider path this time. So uh, Ryan saying it's a little wider than the last one. They've got room wide. To to get to the bite of the forefoot, full oh, eight oh. is uh, two. So they're just cleaning it in now, comfy with what's going on, I think. So uh, it will be two points for uh, Team McEwen, and they will take a 4 3 lead after six ends. Some things can only be experienced in person. Hear the athletes. Feel the excitement. Celebrate the shots. And see the plays the cameras don't. Don't miss the Tim Hortons Briar, presented by AGI. Get your tickets at curling.ca. I tried to play it tight, but we go under the blue. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, we'll update you sheet A when uh, we get a second here. Once they're done, there's uh, looks like three rocks to come in that uh, end with. Uh, Team uh, Howard holding yeah. hammer. Um, again, quite a bit of rocks in play all, all night on that sheet. Uh, I see seven, uh, eight in the rings, uh, eight in play, six in the, seven in the rings. Uh, <laughs> team Howard, uh, two, one on the button, one just off the button, and uh, Team Duncan having one back button. So we'll give you an update as soon as we uh, see the score go up. Team McEwen was uh, laughing about the tick to perfection uh, in the last end, but uh, team uh, team Epping was was looking to try and uh, put the force in, and Team McEwen got their deuce, and maintaining control. You like to score in the even ends, especially later in the game. The boys reminding John that was on the line, so you can't touch it. So he chuckled. 
the uh, the like running the commentary. Eh? I thought Max. What'd you see? Lines good. Like the, uh, the Saw there right now, John. Okay, lines good. Running, running, running pretty straight. T line. Okay. On its always, own here, yeah, back four. So as we said uh, yeah, all week, uh, we're okay. playing under the uh, no center line tick rule this year that uh, the World Curling Federation has implemented for their men's and women's world championship as a test. Uh, they have not added it to the rule book officially yet, but uh, they're going to play that those events. Uh, so the men's world's in uh, Ottawa in April. We're playing another event, so Curling Canada decided that uh, the Briar and the Scotties would also follow suit so we can... Uh, Work on those scenarios, and uh, it was just natural for uh, no us to curl on to follow that thing. So you can't remove a guard on the center line; cannot be moved off center line and out of the free guard zone until the fifth rock has been thrown. So that rock safe for a few more minutes here. That's right. And uh, I did hear Brad Gushu. His thoughts on it were: I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Yeah, we talked about this the other night, Joey. You know, if uh, if you're leading by a significant portion you hate it because uh, you want to play the tick rule you want to push it into the rings and then remove it in the next stone um, if you're losing you've given up and gone aggressive in the early ends and maybe got behind say three four points you love it because it gives you the opportunity to build an end and have no fear that the rocks just going to be pushed off uh, we'll blame uh, it's really holding team Holman for this one uh, you know they okay. patented uh, the tick. I'm not sure. I'm not Still saying really they were holding. the first to do it, uh, to my knowledge, but they, they did patent it. They were the best at it. Uh, they had Lisa Weagle who would throw uh, the tick with regularity and uh, make it. So uh, the team sort of got together and lobbied a bit, and uh, the Grand Slams decided to implement it as a test. And uh, it's stuck yeah, a little bit. So yellow, eh? we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be voted on at the next uh, rules uh session of the World, Confeder World Curling Federation and if they agree I to it normally that Curling think, Canada uh, follows suit immediately thereafter and so do we. No. I don't anticipate it to become a uh, club level product similar to how the free, goals, free guard zone yeah. came into effect a few years back. I don't think this one this is going to be uh, more than likely just for the uh, com highly competitive right. events uh, okay. going okay forward. Then. Okay, then. Well, no. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be patient, be patient. No, wait's close. Still there, still there. Still there. Still there. So uh, all those rocks behind the button, behind the T-line there. Uh, make for uh, concern for both like teams, honestly. Back here? No stall. So, uh, that was really similar to what... John's looking to uh, just, shake yeah, him up just, a little bit really and uh, yeah, the move the rocks around. Yep. Got on that. Trying to stay right on the nose, just unlock them. Just heard Ryan Fry say on the last one, he got 15-3 on that, and it was firmly into the back four. So a little quicker than we've seen uh, the last uh, couple of draws we've been broadcasting, uh, Joey? Yeah, this afternoon uh, we... We were at 14, 14 and a half, yep. so. Yeah, Whoa. that's yep. been pretty consistent. 14 Whoa. and a half's been Matt, 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 pretty Matt, much Matt. the number all week. Bounce with it, it might sink. Yeah, good shot, Pat. So, um, Pat sets this up here. That, and don't you? Uh, yeah, I think he probably ends up throwing the same weight. Throwing the two I rocks. think it knows it. You know I mean? Yeah. The time you Whatever weight. This is okay, too. I think no. Control. That seems yeah. that seems unnecessary. I, I got like an inch of there. Right? Throw board. Yeah. Okay. Board good. Maybe, maybe, weight's closed. Maybe a pound down. Hard, hard Joe, hard! This one. Hard Joe, hard Joe! Hard Joe! Hard Joe. Trying to unlock everything at the back here. And hard, okay. Uh, the, uh, back 12. Scoring area is getting smaller. The, the only thing is, is a lot Stay of the rocks left. are at the back of the buttons, the back of the forefoot, oh, so. Yep, John's got an opportunity here to 
to lie to. Looks well, like it goes, but fast. Whoa! Whoa, Matt! Matt, 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 Matt! Patrick Jansen. Oh. Keep going, this looks like board almost. Well outside. Hard, Mikey! Hey, Patty. <laughs> Getting a time. A little bit of extra yeah. weight. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, uh... Oh. Like deciding what to do here because got yeah, he's well got three, three blue in there, but they're all behind the this T line. This, there'll be a wall. I think he got a hit and roll. Yeah. I mean, he frees the word on top. Yeah. I think you got to hit this. Same way as Lance? Sure. And while they're all behind the tee line, Mike's probably thinking that this is the seventh end and he'd like to hold John to one and have the hammer in eight and theoretically no, ten. <laughs> and a quick update on uh, our tiebreaker game over on sheet A. You, you see the these? team Howard scored one uh, with hammer in the uh, sixth. Yeah. And they've taken a four to three. You get them all. This one will probably Duncan. jam, but... Tight match. There's been a ton of rocks in play over there. I've been watching yep. uh, over. I think this will be the, the first. Uh, they're in uh, first, second stones on that side, and uh, they've only got one rock in play, which is the first time, I think, uh, since Wait. I've looked over. There's been six, seven, eight. I think at one point there was all at least 12 stones in place. So John's asked Matt to come no down and take a look. no good if we lose a shooter and they get a free what's going on. rip it going around. Like, do we just freeze in there? Yeah, that last end for Carly Ho Howard, it looked like she had a uh, like soft a uh, weight. Go and this is just going to tick it in and get two, maybe three from my angle. Here, and it, which is fine. She threw but it if fine. It just didn't quite around. come He's got off. This. So. Yeah, you're going for nose. Yeah, millimeter hot. Close game over there. Not, not unexpected in these uh, no, elimination games. No. You get it in there. So as we talked uh, earlier and uh, earlier this week, uh, no, I know. it was announced that uh, no, I, I we'll be going to yeah, Ingersoll in the, um, yeah. the club uh, right the the arena in Dorchester next year, which Millimeter is just uh, a few miles south of Ingersoll uh, for what uh, Bob Armstrong and his uh, hosting committee there of uh, uh, Nick monikered uh, clash on the Thames. Yep. Is it Thames or Thames? Not sure how Bob pronounces it. Depends on which old guy you're talking to. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bob represents the Ingersoll um, you're club. Definitely is moving Langer, mine didn't I have a long time uh, competitive curler playing in the senior ranks now. He's uh, going to try and qualify next week out of uh, next yep. weekend out of. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sky, sky, I think they're in St. Thomas. That's right. And his longtime teammate Curtis is uh, here at the event as a volunteer. Nice. So uh, John got everything moving, uh, removed almost all of them. I left uh, Tim McEwen uh, sitting second shot at the back uh, four, and uh, Mike's going to make sure to uh, okay. make it a difficult for uh, John to score more than two here. He's going to remove the rock, here, and right? again, he's going to try and force uh, John into a one. Now it gives him control again in the eighth. Tied, uh, okay. I think you'd take that position every day, tied yep. for a four, playing the eighth with. I really got to go on this Hard. one. Yeah, you would theoretically take that every time. As long as you score and then eight, even one is okay. Yeah, the analogy is that, uh, you know, you have two hammers to their one. Uh, normally with hammer, yeah. you're uh, trying to score two and uh, force with force if you're the opponent. So uh, two to one is always a, uh, a good feeling. Yep. 
Many scenarios, though. Yep. I mean, then all of a sudden Rio the other team go. takes the hammer in the nine and tries to blank, right? So oh. yep. always two yep. sides to every story, but. Good. Double by Matt, so. You roll in? Yep. Nice shot, Matt. Kind of like our throws. We, uh, we have a plan, but it's not always followed. Yeah, unlike baseball, we're, uh, you know, if you uh, hit the ball one third of the time, you're a hero and get paid billions of dollars. In uh, curling, if you don't uh, curl at this level over 85%, here, 80 to, you know, a solid 85% on regularity, you're, uh, you're going to be heading back to your club to uh, participate in the uh, local cash league. That's good, Ryan. It's uh, not unheard of to see the average curler at the Briar and Tankard here, we don't do the stats, but uh, it's not unheard of to see them throwing high 80s uh, uh, with regularity. Yep. And apologies to all you baseball yep. players out there, but. Yes. Whoa. Hard. Whoa. 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 Clean. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Curl. Whoa. Oh, curl. Curl. Looking to make the little and roll the inside. Yeah, I don't want them freezing, I don't think. Yeah, see. If he rolls, we can Just get to know hack. very easily. Okay. Like hack or hack, yeah. okay? <laughs> no, no. Well, John's like first here in the uh, in the seventh. They're going to try. I imagine trying to hit and roll away a little bit and uh, keep the uh, blank alive. Yeah. Yeah. How are we doing down there for the time clocks there? So with this throw, John's uh, has twelve thirty. 36. He's going to have 12.30 left when he's done throwing this rock. Uh, Team McEwen has a 14.36. So three ends to go. One rock uh, for Whoa. Team uh, Epping. Whoa. Both have uh, two timeouts left. So pretty comfortable here with the clocks. I don't think anybody's in any panic. These guys are used to managing the clock too. If they notice, uh, if they notice it's getting a little uh, offside, they will... Uh, they will. Uh, <laughs> they can speed it up if they have to. Is what I'm saying. Those are short the discussions. Me, Mikey, and, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that was good. So sometimes you'll see somebody throw a, start throwing hits, and I don't expect that in a tight game like this for them to easily give up uh, control. So they'll, they'll manage their clocks. They're they're both uh, both have almost four minutes left to to play each end. So it's yep. not any fear. That's lots with the timeouts. Yeah. It's uh, more than enough with Ryan throwing. We've seen him throw a couple rocks this week where uh, Mike's barely got the broom oh. down. It's hovering over the rock and the rock's in play. And we see him tonight uh, where yep. Scott Chadwick is trying to get out of the way. And, you know, yep. Ryan's throwing through his legs almost. Uh, it's like... A So let's give Mike the chance, or John the chance to blank, and uh, Russell control back. He's uh, trying to buy one, but uh, having hammer in the eighth, uh, down one won't hurt his feelings. No, not at all. He obviously, be like he'd rather be up five, but he's not uh, going to be overly concerned here if he's down one with uh, hammer in the eighth. We did have uh, four rocks in behind the T line, and now we have a blank. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've talked about the hitting ability of these teams in the past, and uh, you know, all this week it's uh, it's incredible how accurately they can throw the up weight. Uh, so we do have the blank, and uh, it'll be a 4 3 lead for Team McEwen going into the eighth. Team Epping having the hammer.
So we're back here for the eighth end, and uh, we expect uh, Team Epping to go uh, all out here to try and score their deuce in eight, and uh, at worst to get a force in nine and come home, uh, come home with the hammer. That's the perfect world, I think, but uh, we all know this is a, a sport played on ice, and the other team may have a few things to say. Blank in the uh, seventh end on our tiebreaker game uh, leaves Team Howard 4-3 lead over Team um, Duncan with Team Duncan holding hammer. Yeah, both games, same score within one, playing in eight, so. It's funny how many times, you know, that happened this week uh, where we had five games on the ice. Um, didn't matter if it was men's or women's games. We had op many of the draws were uh, mixed. Had five sheets on the ice, and you'd look up, and the scores would be the same: three-one, three-one, three-one. The odd sheet would be two-nothing or whatever. But uh, so it's strategy has uh, has changed. The the ability is uh, you know you talk parity in a lot of other sports where they put in salary caps and whatnot to try and make parity, and then you uh, you come here and it's just it's just just hard work and devotion for these guys coming here to learn their craft. And throw the rock accurately, and like I said, in the air, high, mid to high, 80 percent on a regular basis. And we saw the likes of uh, Team Rooney, Young, and uh, you know even Sam Moybrook and company played great. Um, made all the shots, calm, cool, collect. Here's a mistake by uh, Scott Chadwick, and just drifted in. Not sure if that path just a little quicker, but. Uh, this gives Team McEwen the chance to uh, remove the rock. They had a stick, so this will give John a decision. Does he throw a corner up on the other side? It looks like that's what he's decided. Another good shot by Joey Hart there. Well, we just you leave him a slash, right? John was thinking of the corner on the opposite side. Um, Matt's uh, input is that uh, if we go there, we're gonna have a hard time to stay buried. We're gonna open up like we've been down this. We've seen this path. We've seen uh, McEwen and them uh, go after a bunch of rocks around there. So. They're going to try and bear, guard the blue rock, which is not their rock, and that gives them an opportunity to get around everything and takes away the... Uh, John's concern was the slash, but uh, if they can get this in a position where he can't, they might be able to bury a rock. So Ryan uh, saying it was a pretty good shot, so... Mike's got to pretty much come in, and then you'll see John probably go around with his fir this first one, the next one, and then uh, see what's going on. We uh, moved the booth down to the ice level this year, Joey. I'm not sure if that was the right move or the wrong move because uh, I definitely can't feel my feet anymore. But uh, I, I think it's just a... We're a little closer to the action. We can see what's going on. We can hear a little bit more. We can hear the the front end who aren't mic'd. Uh. Yeah, that's uh, what I've really enjoyed is hearing all the players' commentary and uh, especially Ryan Fry's banter. <laughs> yeah, he's fairly loose out there. It's uh, it's interesting. So that's. Uh, Try and get buried. Your nose and bump it back here, Pat. John's going to make a play I on it. Go in there. And that may just completely eliminate the, the corner guard, which is is the norm, actually, believe it or not. They throw a corner guard up and then end up ignoring yeah, it'll, it'll it, hoping to use it later in the end on a hit and roll type back, uh, situation. Back He's trying to get mm -hmm. to back here and get to the nose. So they're asking Pat Johnson to throw just enough it's weight to get to the nose. Yeah. So we'll. Uh, See, he said nose, but I think he meant just trying, you know, hit a third of the rock and uh, push it over. Yep. So 
the well, Supers yeah. called back 12 to through. And yeah. Got Matt with the broom down pretty much the whole way yeah. here. Now he gets a little relief. He's on the and top. We're gonna move uh, that top guard. Yeah, your shot, Pat. But as it's uh, tight guard, rock, it's yeah. not an issue. Six rock, I mean, so they can move that one yeah. off the center line now. Mike's first thought was an interesting choice. Yeah, if he, he uh, hits this properly, he can spin the blue in. Not for you. The shooter may okay. come okay. all the way across the sheet it's to it's sit. It's out of this. Yeah. I know, that's not awesome. I get it. What is it, Mike? I think you're trying to hit half rock with normal. No. I'm not that good, man. Hit, hit a quarter with peel, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of banter, throw, throw Brent just said <laughs> to Mike, Try I'm not that throw. good. Hit, half, hit a quarter rock. Six, six six rock <laughs> so uh, Mike thought half a rock with normal. Brent replied, I'm not that good, man. And so the decision was is quarter rock with quarter peel. Rock. I don't know if I'm that good, man. I, I just, I, I, it's uh, incredible what they see. And, they, you know, they know themselves. They know what they can throw. So. So they're asking go, go. Joey Hart to get go, this go. to move enough. So uh, Ryan's going to work this in, and it does get in the rings, as predicted. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that rock had a lot of spin on it, so just carried forward. Apparently he is that good. <laughs> Quarter, third, half, yeah, so. Which we already knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think he was teasing, right? He's just trying to... Pick the right weight, and he was more. I think it was more. I don't want to throw normal. I want to throw peel. So they're trying to make the quarter rock double here, and the two on the uh, yep. side of the sheet. Whoa! Whoa! You're gonna have to stay with that blue. I don't think that's gonna get out, but mm. it'll be close. Whoa. Okay. No, that's Not even. So this is going to uh, give McEwen the opportunity to lie three mm -hmm. and uh, put yeah, the force into effect. Yeah, I like that right end, but I like hitting it there, you and I will make it Okay, knows it, bud. Hey, normal's good. I think uh, Team McEwen would be very happy to create a force here and 4-4 four, four tie after eight. Be interested to see what the strategy is in nine. Whoa. But we still got a few rocks left in this end. But If you were uh, tied 4-4-9, Joey, uh, with Hammer, what would your uh, goal be? Well, <laughs> I'd like to the in or the out have at a the wide open draw to the 12-foot to Want win. The but, uh, the out? Well, I'm just saying in the ninth, would you uh, would you try to blank Third. or would you uh, go hard for the two? Right, so mm -hmm. are you going to defer control back to your opponent or with a two-point lead, or are you going to try and blank and then uh, win the game in the... Uh, 10th end with Hammer. Oh, uh, at this level, I, I'd take the two. At the uh, club level, I'd uh -oh. be drawn for four. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but I uh, would play the blank. I would play for the blank. Yeah. These guys are good enough hitters. I, I think that uh, if you could blank, then you uh, you take control of the game good. into the 10th with a 4-4 four, four tie. They, they're making the ones fairly routine. The twos are not that popular. If you look down at the sheet right now at the board, you look at uh, the game on uh, Duncan Howard game, there's not a lot of twos up there. There's a lot of uh, single one-liners. So yep. I think my strategy, but that's that's mine. Um, I can almost guarantee I wouldn't be able to execute it. Yep. So that would be my thought process. If I had these throwers uh, in front of me, then uh, I think. But it'll be interesting. I'm really looking forward to see what happens. But matter of personal that's choice. That's got to stick around for it to happen. The uh, And it does. The five rock rule and the uh, no tick a little hard, eh? take a little power away from the the hammer per in theory. Giant roll here. But well, you uh, see in the last end, you know, there's what five and a half, six rocks behind the ring, behind the four foot at one point, and we had a you know, uh, virtually like, and it was 
rocks disappeared in two rocks. There's nothing left back there. So we'll see. Be interesting. I'm normal. Normal. Good solid normal. Yeah. I like it. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Good shot from Matt. Rolling it over, trying to get it as close as he can. Keep moving it over there for a potential double at the end. Mike's going to fight that and roll it back. To roll, roll a rock your way. Double or a hit and roll on top. The out of the end. I feel like the out. Yeah. yeah there's no doubt. Uh, John would love to. Yeah. Might get a double on the next one. Keep control here. I um, don't think he's gonna have much of a chance for a Let's deuce. A so. Try the double. The out turn. Ryan just walked up to uh, Matt and said he's got that. In the bag, fairly confident of uh, John's ability to make this. We've all seen John's upweight hitting ability is yeah. more renowned. Yeah, especially on the intern, and there was that grand slam he was making them virtually whoa, everyone. Whoa! Th whoa! This one. Really whoa! close, I think. And, and ho hum. Ooh. Did didn't not get out. get out. There has been, uh, I won't call it complaints, but there has been talk. These aren't the liveliest of rocks. Um, they were uh, they're reconditioned and uh, new hitting yeah. bands, uh, which means they just uh, polished them up and yeah. getting ready. Yeah. But uh, right on the, the nose bands might be getting a little thick. They're uh, 38 pound rocks, which means yeah. that normally a rock starts around like 43, 44 pounds. Nose so they might be. Uh, yeah, like a on half their a last legs for uh, a championship caliber way, right? rock. Yeah, still a great set of rocks. Um, I have not heard a ton of complaints uh, on the rocks, so uh, the we thank Canada, Canada Curling Stone for helping provide us a, a good set of rocks to allow these players to uh, play to their abilities. Yeah, you sometimes see a different. Uh, amount of on the striking band uh, the smaller it is the more active th they yeah, the are. more lively they are right yeah so it's not the the ice or the rings it's the it's the bands and it's the rocks and in, in most cases you know over the years where you go to a club and you see really straight ice and you blame it on the ice maker it's probably not the ice maker it's more likely Whoa. the 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 rocks yep. themselves um you know, so the clubs yeah. uh, i've heard a lot of clubs in the last four or five years buying new rocks Getting things going, so they're yeah, hoping. Uh, yeah, so this is still going to leave the, the potential to blank, but uh, John's got to be careful because uh, he could jam this and roll out. So yeah, just like golf, you got to keep your concentration. Sometimes that that easiest shot. Oh yeah, for sure, is the one you miss. The hair more. Harder ones you. Yeah. Dial it right in and concentrate. And yep. In our uh, tiebreaker game over on uh, sheet A, it looks like 
Team Duncan has scored in the eighth then. We're just going to give you an update. They're hanging the score there now. I don't know how much it is, but we'll know in a second. It's a one, so yep. it's a 5-4 lead for Team Duncan. Sorry, it's a 4-4 tie uh, for Team Duncan no. after eight. And uh, as, per, as we called, uh, you know, the potential is that uh, you could leave that rock and jam it. So it uh, is a one for Team McEwen, and they'll take a 5-3 to three lead going into the ninth end. Hi, welcome to Van Dolder's Custom Exteriors. Step right this way to see inspiration around every corner. Are you looking for doors and windows that balance style with heating efficiency? We'll show you. Or maybe you want the beauty and virtually maintenance-free protection offered by Gentex Siding, Eaves, and more. We'll show you. Enjoy the tour and discover your home's potential. If it goes on the inside of your home, you'll find it on the inside of ours. We'll show you. So welcome back, uh, folks. As you can see, the score is going up. And uh, we have Team McEwen uh, leading 5-3, playing the ninth without. So Yeah, so we're going, as you said, into in nine. And uh, John with a bit of a miss there. Fully expect him to... Uh, Park it and uh, did exactly what I thought he would. jump back into this game. So Tim McEwen just had a quick uh, chat, and you know they they're thinking strategy right away. They're up two without. They said, "Do you want to blank this out and see if John can get his deuce and deuce and ten, and then at least they control uh, and take a take a tie into the extra end, uh, or do you want to throw a guard and see if you can uh, put the force or uh, possibly steal to." Virtually, you know, almost end the game, not guaranteed. But uh, they've decided that they're going to go with a tight guard, uh, Joey, and see if they can get it uh, on the center line very tight. Uh, they don't want to leave a long one. Um, they want to leave the opportunity for them to run it if they need to. So um, that was their strategy decision coming out. No, it's fine. It's going to stop. It's going to stop. It's stopping. I'm gonna so that rock stopped, but it is no. off the center line. So uh, John's going to go up and throw the corner guard. No, that's why I like it. And I don't even know what's better. So on sheet A, we have uh, Duncan Howard tied at 4-4 after 8. Um, yeah. This is a tiebreaker game to see who moves forward into the uh, into the semifinal versus Team well, English tomorrow morning at 10.30. Yeah, and the winner of that game will uh, face Team Holman, uh, who earned the uh, bye to the final. Yeah. They'll be uh, home resting. They'll come and uh, throw rocks uh, tomorrow afternoon to uh, match their set for uh, the final. And then uh, we'll get ready for that game, final game. So, um, and the winner of this game gets the nice long rest uh, with the team Howard. They'll both be rested for the three o'clock final. So uh, both those teams I expect will be out here trying to match rocks uh, somewhere during the day tomorrow before the final. It's just, just, just tight, just tight. He's not hitting. It's only one game scheduled tomorrow for the for the men. Uh, Due to the no tiebreakers, they'll be, you know, they'll be happy to no, go out and throw for 15, 20 Wanna minutes. Play the draw? Get some stretched out, loosened up, and uh, also get some to work on the rocks. They'll get a, they'll fine tune their set, make sure they get the ones they want. It's always interesting to watch the, the rock matching and the uh, little bit of gamesmanship that happens uh, during that. But Team Howard going through undefeated. Little bit early. Uh, gotta go early. We'll have uh, choice of color and well hammer into the final. You gotta go early. You gotta go. You and gotta Team go. Holman you gotta go. Uh, being the. Uh, you really gotta go. Leading uh, yeah, team really going into go. the finals. You and, go. uh, clearly you go, ahead, you unless go, they Matt. face Team Nicholas, go. in which they're go. both tied, no. they would also have. Uh, All right. He's not by. They would have both. Um, but if they do face Inglis in the Ooh, final, then it would be a choice because uh, uh, their I records are identical going into the uh, playoff, even though Team Holman may have beat them in the uh, round robin portion. Get the same record, you don't get uh, you don't get Board. both. This is where you screw.
great big day tomorrow and uh, pull on your hat. Yep. The next uh, 10 or 15 minutes are going to be really a lot of fireworks, I expect. So team Epping has the corner guard up. Uh, team McEwen has oh boy, like tried to block it a bit by uh, hitting a rolling in front of it. Yeah, I think you'll probably see Team Epping play a quiet. Oh, they're going to uh, play ahead and roll across the sheet over over okay. past the the uh, center line guard. Good job, Langer. This one's on the guard. It is. Surprising. Didn't see the release there, uh, Joey. And I didn't hear anything out of the yeah, hand. I didn't hear anything uh, crazy. So I don't know if uh, you don't want possibly that rock uh, had I just don't know if we uh, want to get too cute with it. Pick. Sorry? Normally, if you're really tight out of the hand, you'll hear it. the broom no. collar. The skip Look, in this I case yelling right away. Here. You uh, don't hear it. I assume something. Kind of went wrong halfway down the sheet or something. So it's, normal? it's time of the game where uh, handprints, footprints, uh, things come into play. It's not always the surface. I just saw something. Yeah, you know, okay. So the boys are going to probably, you'll see them keep everything cleaner and uh, keep the broom down. They're not going to let, uh, let anything interfere with uh, their opportunity to win the games. It's a great lesson for anybody that's uh, youth uh, coming up. Uh, you know. Oh. Good solid clean, um, especially later in the game. Does not hurt anything. Brent's attempting to get rid of the yellow with a little roll. That's fine. Pretty good. Good shot. Yep. John's going to run the uh, Try and see if we get here with back the and see what they can do. Sorry, Vicken. Yes! Whoa! Straight peel here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stuff on that one uh, out of his hand they called. Yeah, that, that was just a little tight on release for sure. Time tendencies to overthrow, and when you overthrow, you tend to pinch the broom a little. Yeah. And when you're throwing that kind of weight, there's yeah. not much margin for error. Yeah, Mike. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's through. Ryan called it through right out of his hand. He uh, did not hesitate to uh, admit uh, this rock's going to curl past the one in the, the rings, and uh, he's just saying to Joey, just take it all the way out. Make it disappear. I, uh, John's going to, they'll let John do the work for them. But uh, Ryan called that right away. Um, Your best to try and make this double. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're worried about staying. We should let them hopefully go. They don't even it up. What do you think? I don't know. Yeah. So, that, um, just okay. looking at the clocks uh, again, nothing to worry about too much. Team, uh, team right, Epping's down one? to yeah, 620 good, good. with two timeouts. No, team uh, McEwen has 818 with two timeouts. They're uh, make you know, that double two thirds of the way through the uh, ninth end. So. No, I threw. I threw. I don't see one. any uh, clock issues coming away unless somebody has a really lengthy discussion. But uh, I yelled through out of my these guys are aware <laughs> enough, so they'll uh, they'll know that uh, they've got two timeouts to play with, and they'll use them. Little, little overprotecting against the corner guard there. <laughs> if I haven't, if I hadn't.
thrown corner guards in my day. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't have done that. Yep. Yep. We've got some peel weight here, trying to slash double. And just Didn't. misses it. Freeze that back one? Yeah, probably. Okay, so. Uh, Let's see how much respect they have for uh, Team Epping's ability to uh, Where you just threw is make hits. One uh, of the faster spots in the cheat, right? Well, I threw hack, so. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan's still berating himself for his uh, throw, saying, well, you know, if you're on the fastest spot, I said I threw hack, don't worry about it. I, you know, so he, uh, he's been chiding himself uh, since he threw it. Like it to he curl. Knows he fully I'm knows that he overthrew it, and there's nothing to do about it once it's that gone. But uh, they, they definitely respect. They didn't want to go to that side. Ryan says you can't go over there. Brent said the same thing. You can't go over there. You're just putting it right into triple land for these guys. So they're going to split the rings the other side and try and leave no routine doubles. Uh, you know, John's going to go default. John has uh, default three, so he's going to freeze to the one on the button, back button. See if he can generate his two uh, that way. Yep. Just protecting against that. <laughs> He's not seeing the blank opportunity anymore, so switching. Blank is uh, yeah is uh, quickly fading. It's gonna curl a bit. Hard line. So now they're going. Really hard. Keep it going. If they okay, can whoa, get whoa, it there, whoa, whoa, whoa. they'll come off it there. So they're losing line. Uh, you know, I just heard John say they might be losing the ice a bit. That just means the uh, the pebbles yeah. breaking down. It's yeah. uh, they've had a lot of sweeping, a lot of going, and uh, it's pretty standard. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, that bad. Half rock, uh, half rock's good. Half rock, right? Yeah. Ryan just threw one through that, you know, down a path. Um, so. It's just path-wise, I think, that the, you know, overuse in one area. Yep. Lots of sweeping. These guys can really put the, the power on the broom. No, 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 I'm trying There's to only so much pebble you can put on the ice before it uh, yeah. goes the other way and it's unplayable early in the game, so. A solid turn. So, uh, Mike McEwen trying to pick this rock, I believe, and roll the shooter out. As you, yeah, as you might have heard from the crowd reaction, uh, Team Howard Clayton. barely yep. got by and made a, a phenomenal Whoa. shot Clayton. over yep. there. Yep. I'm looking over. Clayton. I think she's lying yep. Yep. Hard. Yep. two for sure that I can see. And uh, Mike makes a pick for to lie and two for sure, you leaving uh, one Duncan Rock to come. She's going to try and freeze to the rock on the button. And then uh, what do you Team think Howard, we're down, like Curly Howard, will have an, a shot. Or did you at, think Maddie whipped his or no? Multiple points potentially if she can get, oh, depending did. on where Team Duncan's rock finishes. We'll keep you up to date as soon as uh, that okay. end completes and uh, okay. the scores go up on the board. Four feet? Okay. In our, in our sheet, John's going to try the freeze again. And And the lead's got Chatwit, who's calling out a wanting a time of 14. So, so we were up in the 15s there for a while. Now it's uh, come down to uh, 14 a bit. They haven't touched this at all yet, and then it is starting to curl. Line's really good. Yeah, should to dig in here if it oh, gets over to carrying. the slide path. But yeah, it's rolling off. Mm. Yeah. Trying to so see McEwen. Uh, Ryan's suggesting that they yeah, uh, yeah. try to hit the yellow and uh, kind of kick off the like back of their own blue yeah, so that it moves it get, up and you'll get it isn't in the way for John's uh, draw. It may force oh, him to okay. draw the pin with no backing. Right now he's got full backing. So, uh, but, you know, he did say make the hit first. 
which is always the most important thing when you're trying to, you know, you can't think of the outcome further. you got to make the hit first is so important. It's sometimes something that uh, younger curlers are, uh, forget and uh, think of the end result and then miss the shot they're supposed to be making. Well, yep, yep, hard, 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 hard. This is close to the called shot gotcha. here, folks. Oh, oh and it just, Good just try, missed Mike. the back of the oh. uh, rock, which is okay. It, uh, <laughs> it missed it by not much. John's going to uh, throw the control weight hit here and uh, stick for one. Yep. And that will uh, have them one down playing the 10th without hammer. Board. Stay here more, bud. Yeah, a little more. Yeah. Yep, for sure. Good throw. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yep. I'll uh, keep a broom down on this, I'm sure, and. Scott Chadwick's just uh, taking it to it. Ryan's already kicking rocks off behind, which is uh, pretty standard. So we can confirm one for Team Epping here in the ninth, which will uh, leave Team McEwen leading five to four, playing uh, coming into the tenth. The Roaring Game is rocking the soggy shores, and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tangard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21, and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Elgin Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. Welcome back, folks, to the 10th uh, end. Um, like we said, uh, Team Epping is uh, trailing by one, so they're going to try and get the double guard up, double center line guard up. I would expect they want both of these to be touching the center line. A little update for sheet one. Team Holly Duncan stole one in the ninth, and they are now leading Team Carly Howard 5-4. to four. Uh, Team Howard having hammer and 10. So both games coming down, uh, looking at clocks, no uh, serious issues. 421 for Team McEwen, six minutes and 13 uh, seconds hard, for your, hard, no, hard, sorry, 413, 421 for Team Epping, 613 okay. for Team McEwen. So no fears in the time clock, Five. they both have two timeouts left. Oh, then we got a curl then. So uh, let's no, see what happens here, it's Joey, but uh, I fully expect it to be curl. two guards and uh, they're definitely gonna really want curl. this to touch the center line. That's really right, they've really gotta go. Gotta they go, prefer to have one really tight go. and whoa, one whoa, higher. Yeah, so that's as uh, the high guard's the hardest one to throw because um, you risk uh, risk uh, hogging it, and um, they've, they've succeeded here. It's a uh, you know, broom, broom and a half away from the hog line on the center line, so it cannot be removed from from the center line until uh, the fifth rock's been thrown. So I expect uh, McEwen to throw two on the forefoot, and uh, we'll have game on. Just grab coming in. Just grab. Yeah. Yeah, it's right in the slide path, Joey. That's, uh, you know, unfortunately, we're probably 80%, 90% of the slides go right down that path, and it's hard to keep that uh, path perfect. Sweep so, it aggressively. Uh, John's going to it try and come light. around here looks and stay, really huh? stay in the free guard zone. Mike would have liked that first one to get a little deeper so they could uh, sink another one in there. Right now, they've... This They've hit. Uh, <laughs> Look at this one move over. Can you get yeah. it to the line? Yes. Oh, for sure. Easily. Yeah. Take top of the top of the around. rock, or right, right around it. I so. Choice by Team McEwen to come right around and or top to their own blue. And so. Yeah, in turn top, Mike. Yeah.
So they've asked Joey to come right around Wait, everything. Uh, real close. One thing I've noticed tonight, Joey Hurts had his weight uh, pretty it's much his back close. pocket the whole game. They they top bumping the broom it, and he hits that weight rock. every time. It's very good. They're trying to bump this one. This one needs to curl a little bit. Might be uh, might getting by actually. Yeah, did graze it, which kept it yeah on the T line. Yeah, they didn't want to be behind. They definitely did not want to be behind on that, so that's why they were uh, hoping for the little uh, call the graze so that they could. Uh, right. Just if they if we go beside it and he make he makes the double peel, we really are we have nothing. John's looking at his clock, maybe considering a timeout here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they do call it. Uh, yeah, let's come down. Unless they have a really we, quick conversation. We just tap this they might save them. They, they, you know, they can use them any time yeah. in this end. I so. think you freeze, Pat. Mm -hmm. So um, their concern is, is after this rock's thrown, uh, Team McEwen can peel, and do we uh, they feel the double peel's fairly easy. Why do we easy. try to do this? That might be your best bet. So now they're going to tap the top one. Uh, Back eight. You know, a couple of feet. Yep. Patrick Whoa. Jansen. Whoa. Whoa. Scott. Joey's going for another ride. Just Keep going, Scott. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So Stop as called, uh, they topped this one back four. I think they would have liked to have had a hair more curl before it hit, yeah. but uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they got a. So Mike's going to go up as predicted and uh, trying the double peel. It's almost automatic for uh, call, anyways. Um, automatic that they would uh, try the double peel. See if they can execute with Just Brent Langs uh, first. Just shy of the and these two line is your line. center line guards are reasonably close together, so. Yeah, we've talked about the weight that these uh, fellas can throw. You know, they can hit something just slightly off nose and get it to roll. Brent. I think this might be a hair wide. They're only going to pick the top one. Yeah, Brent didn't like that out of his hand, just a little wide, and it you stayed go right there. To this one. So John's going to uh, come right into the rings now and freeze to the. Uh, a rock they just topped to the back uh, four. Try and set up uh, the steal a one here. They need one to tie. We would expect uh, Tim McEwen probably to peel the guard immediately. And then uh, we'll see what John decides to do uh, to generate a single. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. You're calling T line here. Yes. Now the rock's starting to yes. curl, so they're uh, dragging it around and in. Whoa, yes! This should finish Whoa. hard here. Yes. We've seen it all day. Yes, 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 yes. Weight yes. looks yes. really good. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Yep. And it actually That's gets inside a bit, so. Very expect nice. the mic, but he's looking at it. Uh, I expect peel. him to peel. Yep. Everybody was on page. Uh, Mike says you just got to peel the top. and. Brent and uh, Ryan have both already called it, so they're in agreement. Yep. Yep. Good. Make it look so easy. It's not as easy as it looks. Uh, I would think in an average club game, if I was throwing that, I would have beaked it and probably picked my own blue out. John's going to put it back into a little bit of a better position. He's going to want to be just the hair this side of center line if he can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might see uh, this for a little while. Delay, delay tactic and see who makes the next big move. Who blinks first, yes. Um, I did hear Ryan, Ryan ca no casually no, mention no, no, to no. Uh, no good. Mike, depending yeah. on where he well. puts this, we might go after it. So well. Well. they're eyeing it up pretty quick. Well. Right now, that well, yellow rock is uh, gotta stop. not safe. Got to stop. Um, we got to stop. They can stop. Uh, easily get that rock moving with uh, hitting a third of it outside. It's a little deeper okay. than they yep. want it, but it does cover it up. 
does definitely cover uh, shot rock. I don't know, is it worth? I don't think so. I think it's just the peel, but. Yeah, I agree. I think, yeah, this Mike feels a little early for uh, any activity. Let's just straight peel and uh, see if they can make the guard again. Yeah. And this looks mission accomplished. And Dunn's going to put it back up. And then. Yeah. Now you're into, uh, this is Matt Cam's last shot. You got two for John. Uh, so, so Ryan's uh, a little worried that uh, sooner or later the team Easy. effing may freeze Easy. onto the, their own shot rock right now and uh, yep. maybe create Whoa. a Whoa. two point steal. So Whoa. be interested to see where this one ends and what their stream strategy Whoa. is. Whoa. We need to sit. We need to sit. Again, uh, both teams are fine with the clocks. They each have uh, two Good. timeouts. Team Epping has uh, 216 on their clock and Team uh, McEwen has 432. Okay. So. Here we go with the first time out. They're going to get uh, Coach Hart to come out and have a chat. Um, Ryan's pretty concerned about that rock. He's talking about chasing it right away. So just be quiet here and see what the team says. We know this curls. The only other shot, like, could you? Like, even if this spins here. No, not not unless you absolutely raise it. If I ever, yeah, if we ever miss that, we're. But <laughs> it'll make a shot. No, I said if it, yeah. Uh, if we miss it, we're dead. Yeah, if I click this, if I click this, we're dead. It's a pretty easy chase. The yeah, it'll curl. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm worried about is him going right there. Yeah, I like the, I like the chase. Yeah, like it looks like a hack, wa firm hack waiter. Let's make it with the broom. Yeah, I like it, Mike. I think you're just throwing half. So it looks like they've decided as a team that they're going to chase this rock. Um, I'm going to use hack weight and try to uh, get to nose at least, I would say, Joey. Uh, hair inside is probably not the worst. I don't know. They, they want to be nose at minimum. Probably just on the um, broom side of nose actually is really good because if uh, John comes down, that's a possibility that yellow rock squeezes out. So we're still having a quick chat here. Okay, peel up. Yeah. I agree. And after all that, they've uh, defaulted Ways to the peel. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that was Coach Richards' uh, last comments or if they decided this on their own if from looking at it from the other end, which is more than likely what happened. Ryan got the other end and just went, not sure, and they just uh, decided to peel. So team mapping will call the timeout. I expect that they'll uh, use one here and one in the next shot. Why not? You have them. Let's take your time. No rush to uh, get here. So they're going to have a good look at what they've got here and Coach Hart could walk out if he's so decided, but I, I think the team will just uh, come over here and chat with them uh, at this end. You have to do it now. Yeah, get as low as you can. Team Mapping's longtime coach, uh, Basically, Jim yeah. R.B. Yeah. Um, Weld it. Wilson Your nose is, uh, is pretty darn good. Not here. I haven't nice seen Jim uh, much this year. Is Jim Kerr on the seniors? Do you know, uh, Joey? I didn't uh, look. Uh, he so has for years, and he actually played uh, Masters this year. He though, played my Masters this year. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I have to give him a call and give him a hard time. Uh, uh, I heard he was at a bonds yeah. bill at yeah, the Oakville Club. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, that's quite possible. Good for him. Jim yeah, got the nickname RB Rock, Rock Bottom uh, many years ago. I won't tell you the team that uh, named it, but uh, okay. some of them are probably watching this evening and chuckling, but... Uh, Team was struggling a little bit, went out and lost uh, in a Bonspiel event, a Caspiel event to uh, Jim's team. And uh, without knowing that he was sitting in the locker room, they came in and the brooms were kicking around and there was some 
rather harsh words said and said, fellas, if this is, uh, we lose to these guys, we've hit rock bottom. And uh, the name stuck, and uh, he's known well in the industry as uh, RB, uh, and uh, probably calls himself that more than Jim. Mm-hmm. So time's back in here uh, you can't for take team upping. It's just dead. You know, can, it's yeah. dead. Probably gonna take a run of that double. Yeah. And, and then if you, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm in. So uh, nice and tight the then. fear that Ryan had, Ryan Fry had okay. earlier in the uh, shot earlier was that uh, team upping was gonna freeze right into this pocket and give themselves a chance to uh, steal two, believe it or not, which is a rarity in uh, this game. So. Um, Pretty good here now. Expect or like, are we still? Sleeping? John makes this perfectly froze. Except uh, expect Mike to really throw a hard one. Let's see what they can do. It'll be an interesting uh, discussion here. Expect the sweepers to uh, keep their brooms down here. They've seen a few flat spots, and they're not uh, going to give this rock any chance to pick anything. So they'll. Uh, the curl's really good here, it comes along, so they're fairly comfortable. So it's just a matter of real tight to the rings they're calling. They're not going to get into where the spot they want to, but they uh, got into a guard position, so. I don't think that was the, was that the call, Joey, or did they call it right to the freeze? I, 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 but I even thought if it was you, a freeze, even if but you even if you move that they seemed pretty comfortable in the sweep. They weren't sweeping yeah, that hard, no, I agree. so that must have been the call. Unless too. they just knew out of the hand that it wasn't going to get there and through the odd through the audible out, and yeah. I didn't hear Omaha called anywhere, but no. Like they, even if you stop here, I like his chances of being close. Yeah, you can assume even that that was here, the call because the there was the no world. panic or no. I agree. I just well, it opens up this side. So 3.21 left on the this clock for Team the uh, McEwen. Right now, there's right? no fear. 1.28 for John with the timeout, so I expect the team will. There's a second timeout uh, call by Team McEwen. I'm going to get Team uh, Coach Hart Richard to come out and make it, but yeah, have If a you chat. get to know, it's just gonna, real hard again, not to, like, shut up and let the curlers tell you what's going up. on here. Brent's right. If I, if I don't get... No, I know, Mikey, but if you miss anything, you're... Yeah, it's the same boat. This is a draw that we know. We got the speed at 14.75, right? That or I throw a, try to throw a BB here. I just, I don't, I don't see a whole lot good happening. I see this sitting right here and then him freezing no, here. Like and if I get this on to here, this, it's, it's at least going to here. Uh, but I gotta get contact though. Yeah. My thought's the draw. So if one I choose is I gotta make it. You could hear that or then not, but uh, nose. and then we would have. Coach Hart yeah. said, by making the freeze, uh, worse is you're a one steal versus a two it. steal Let's if you don't make the other shot. The other shot was Tap the hit one inch. on that yellow rock in the rings, uh, trying to get pick the one on the button out. So yeah, that's your ice. So they're going to go to the free. They're going to go right away and try and uh, make the freeze here. And yeah, they're done. shot. Uh, you know, uh, Mike said it himself. He says, no matter what we pick, I have to make it. Mm -hmm. He just, he said, or at that point right now, or I have to make the shot. There's no half shot here. It's a, it's a make. So um, they've gone with the freeze, which seems to me to be the logical call. Yeah, and, and the shot is, is there. Um, and they've held off long enough that it, it's time. We're at Skip Rocks here. And they were comfortable with the weight. They said, we know the weight's 1475 between the hog lines. So. I expect uh, them to be close here. Line looks close. Line's close. Room. Room. Line's good. Keep the brooms down here and you'll see them. Uh, this is yes. this will finish hard. No. We know that. No. Hard job. Uh, calling straight hard job. straight for Joe Girl. to finish Girl. the rock. It's hard. curling. Go hard go. Go for go. 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 Uh, it's a good spot. Uh, as Coach Richard Hart uh, said, you know, that shot at best is steel of one. We have hammer in the extra if needed. 
Yep. I can update you that on sheet um, A in our uh, women's uh, tiebreaker, Team Howard scored one in the 10th to tie the game five, and they're going to go to an extra end. They just haven't had enough curling over there. They're uh, playing tiebreaker games in the, in the crossover pools, tiebreaker games in the round robin pools. So they'll get a three minute break, and uh, they'll give this crowd some uh, extra attention and extra end. On our sheet, too. No. Team Epping's called a timeout. They've uh, got about 25 no. seconds left in their timeout, and then I believe they have a minute 20 or so. Then they so got about the a minute 20 to go. It was just a millimeter high, or can you make, or can you just can you make it thin enough to stick it right there? The plant. Ah. Okay. If you pick it, you're gonna spin out. So right now we've got uh, okay. Team Epping. Because he's just got lots shot of shot rock. Uh, Team so McEwen has two blue that stones one, right? in okay. front. Okay. Just guard it then. Out so turn he's maybe. He's got to try and guard to guarantee a steal. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. So they're little, a uh, little more, a little more. It'll go across. So they're going to try and come in and uh, take everything away by uh, sitting uh, a foot atop, full eight. I think Joey just in, in front off. of that blue rock, and that Sound that takes the angle easy. away. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, the only one would be maybe the run off the high guard or the tight guard. So we'll see what goes on here. So John throws his rock with 48 seconds left, so he's he's uh, had no issues. So uh, team uh, Tim McEwen has 2:21 to go with no timeouts, so they just uh, you'll have a short discussion and then can throw. So John's throwing the high guard. He's not throwing the he doesn't come around so. And they were taking away the yellow onto blue. So Team McEwen now has an opportunity. They have to pick. Uh, like there is a way that we could give them two here. How? If you click this and the four spins. Well, I, I wouldn't be throwing it hard. So right that now Team uh, Epping has the you one. that's there? Block. Team McEwen is trying to figure how they can uh, move that away. Yeah, okay, I'm down. Control weight? Yeah. So control weight run back off the tight guard. Trying to get to nose on their own blue. That's yeah. right. And what's what's ha helping uh, Mike on this shot is the fact that all the rocks control in the forefoot, none of them are frozen. So there's a little bit of wiggle room there. So this shot is, uh, is for the win. Um, They'd be very, they think they'd be very unlucky to throw it and give up two here. I don't see any way that that's really going to happen. So, worst case, they're going to an extra in, but uh, we'll see what happens here. I think that's good. They do run here a little bit, though, early, and then dive. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like it. Close, yeah, whoa, 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 curl, 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 to Carve this in a little curl. bit. It's uh, very close, I think. On, Looks like it's successful. Even uh, John raised his broom. So uh, there'll be a score of two, I believe, for Team uh, McEwen. And uh, Team McEwen has eliminated Team Epping from uh, the championship. And we'll be moving on to tomorrow afternoon's final at 3 o'clock. It was a... Uh, well judged and well uh, executed shot by uh, Team McEwen. Um, so it's always unfortunate to have someone lose when it's such a well played game. Um, so we will uh, see you on this sheet tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, for the uh, McEwen Howard final. Thank you very much, Joey. See you tomorrow afternoon. Good night, everyone.